It's Fishing Jeans back here, and today was our last day of school. So you know what? Me and my boy Will, aka the Guam, we're out here fishing at this little pond right here. It's a little neighborhood pond. Supposedly there are big catfish in here, but we're here to test it out and see if we can catch anything. Let's get into this video. Hey yo, what's up guys? So now we're at our uh, second spot right here. The first pond was absolutely doo doo, so we came to this neighborhood pond. I mean, it's pretty good. Now we're gonna go catch some bass and stuff. Maybe some catfish in a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, uh, I got my first fish today. Uh, it's a nice little largemouth. It's kind of small, but first fish of the day. Come back. Guys, I got my second fish of the day, but kind of swallowed the hook. So we have to try to get this out of here. This guy's Big hook too. I don't have pliers. Do you have pliers? No. So when you got a fish all like when you hook a fish all the way down in the stomach, you wanna you wanna try to work through their gills if you can. It's a lot easier. Hey, look who it is! Yeah, sorry, Will's a new cameraman. <laughs> but he uh, doesn't show his face like me. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Hey, thank you for coming. Then there's the Guam over there. Still have zero fish on the board. I'm gonna show you guys uh, a way to attract bait fish. So you get just a piece of bread, okay? You bowl it up. Come down here. Come down here. Come down here. Oh! <laughs> you bowl it up. And then you just get it wet like this, okay? And you chuck it and it spreads out and then it sinks. And the fish go crazy. And then once you do the, the bread bomb, you just come down here, toss your little bread in. Uh. Alright guys, so we've been out here for about an hour and we just pulled just chilling in the water had a hot dog on it and we got a catfish <laughs> got charlie here we got nolan guam left which is sad but yeah guam had to go charge his phone he wishes he could be here for this insane catch hey charlie i think there's carp coming by the way keep chumming up the water with that stuff yeah, yeah. shut it grandma oh, shit. charlie what's the pound on this eight, eight. God. all right guys um try to throw it more out charlie all right guys right now this is eight pound test so i gotta be extremely careful and this seems like a pretty big fish honestly you think it's stuck on stuff on the bottom i'm kind of nervous it can't be is somebody's ever on too no that's worse oh shoot guys there's at least a five pounder I'm not even kidding just right there <laughs> that's cute too bad we got Charlie's five pounder is like a half a pound. Remember when you always make me fun of you for that? <laughs> oh, there look is. at those swirls. Oh my god. Guys, I think this is a big one, honestly. It's burying itself in the mud. I was gonna say. They bury themselves and then it just makes it harder to reel in and stuff. Like but that. I think it's a catfish. Oh, baby. Alright, guys. I honest, I think it's a big one because I don't feel it coming in. And I'm trying not to put a lot of pressure on it. It's really like snag. Alright guys, uh, he's coming up now. He's coming up. I'm he's coming up. Watch, watch, just watch. I think he's getting tired. 
Charlie, I think that net might be a tad bit too small. Yeah, you can see the ripples. All right, he's you can see the rod. ripples in the bend of the rod. This is a big oh, boy. God. Actually, I don't know how big it is, to be honest. Oh. Right there. Beauty pond. Okay, this pond's a beauty, too. Never disappoints. Oh, there it is. It's not a terrible one. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down and lift it again, like I'm gonna do because I like to be an idiot. <laughs> yeah, this is not a big one, but I mean, let's go. There it is, big boy. First one. Pop it. <laughs> take over. You take over. Dude, that that guy was not even hooked. It's ripping away. Dude, he is fat. Honestly, look at that gut. Look at that gut. Ooh. Okay. Hey, for the boys, for the boys. Oh, that feel? All right. All right, guys. Get down here. Get down here. So, so when you're when you're holding these guys, you want to go under their stomachs like this. All right, and you want to go under and hold them right behind these dorsal fins because when they get scared, they lock them up. And then you hold them like this because these things, these are like needles. If they get you with these, they'll go right through you. So you're gonna hold them like this. <laughs> here, come over here to the shallow area. Honestly, this is a lot smarter, smaller than the first one we caught on this channel. It's fine. It's still daytime, so it's a little surprising, but here we go. I'll go right here, come over here. There he goes. 